Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Today, we have something else that really does suck. Or does it? Before I get started, please consider subscribing as it would really help me out. And leave a like if you like this content. Okay, on with the video. It's really hard to say precisely because you'll remember when that first He-Man Master of the Universe video dropped. And we were all excited because it actually looked pretty cool. It was set to the background song of I need a hero. I'm holding, yeah, you know the song. I'm not going to go through the whole thing for you. Nobody deserves that kind of punishment. We were all excited. It looked pretty good. There was plenty of He-Man in it. Seemed quite legit and interesting. And now a new trailer has dropped. And this one is kind of confirming the rumours that Clownfish TV heard about the fact that it's going to be very Tila centric and that she was going to be the star of this new cartoon. Which is a disappointment, what with it being He-Man's vehicle, and so we're all expecting a He-Man cartoon, and now we feel like He-Man is going to be a passenger in this particular cartoon. Just another side character while we ooh, learn all about Teela's adventures in whatever she does in this cartoon. Now, we shouldn't judge too heavily, but let's have a look at this new trailer and, well, you'll see what we mean. Magic gave birth to Eternia, the first planet in all of creation. But now their magic is gone. And without magic, Eternia will rot and die. And as goes Eternia, so goes the entire universe. I built a life of truth. Away from magic. Now you want me to save magic? I find that very confusing as an intro to the story because I heard that this was supposed to be, and Kevin Smith has said, this is a direct sequel to the original series. Now, it seems a bit strange that Teela would suddenly have been trying to escape from her responsibilities, you know, being captain of the palace guard and in charge of looking after Adam and keeping him safe and all that stuff. So how on earth did this happen? Someone could probably fill me in on how the cartoon series finished. It's been a long time since I saw it, well, the original cartoon series that is, but just seems a bit strange. Seems like a reason to give Teela a major part in the cartoon rather than continue with the whole Skeletor versus He-Man thing. Yes, to save Eternia. Okay, okay. Now, we all know what's going on here. Ah, oh, dear God, the haircut. The haircut. This is just... Ah, oh, this pisses me off. This millennial whiny haircut bullshit. Look how emo I am. Is emo still a thing? Someone let me know, because I'm not sure. But I had long, nice hair. Now I've cut it to a fucking weird angle. I probably shaved the side of it. What is this about? And why do they feel they have to do this sort of weird stuff to show that they're rebelling against... I don't know. Sense? Nah. If I don't do this, everybody dies. No! Whatever became of Eternia, we'll face it together. No one else dies. Another bugbear I have with this is that they've made Adam into some weakling looking guy. I don't know if anyone else remembers the original series of He-Man. When Adam turns into He-Man, he basically just changes his clothes. He's a big bulky, muscly guy, normally. That's just his normal look, but he wears long sleeves and trousers and stuff. When he turns into He-Man, he ends up wearing a kind of loincloth and like the chest guard and stuff, but he doesn't change size in any way. He remains the same bulky, big, muscly guy, because it seems that everybody on Eternia, if they're male, is a big, bulky, muscly guy. If they're female, they're like a very nice looking woman. But they've deliberately decided to make Adam a kind of scrawny looking, like a small, weak man, which is just weird. I can't understand why they've done that. They want to make the transformation into He-Man much bigger, much more effective. You just think to yourself, no, when Adam transforms into He-Man, he gains the power of Skull. He doesn't increase physical size or change his actual physical shape. So I find this slightly disturbing. It's emasculating for Adam when he's just being Adam. But the sword of power was destroyed. Not destroyed. Divided. Whether you serve Grayskull or Snake Mountain, 
We all gotta work together now. Whether you serve Grayskull or Snake Mountain, I don't know if anyone else looked at that bit and thought to myself, hmm, they try to make the bad guys and the good guys like the same. Like, as though there is no evil or something. That's just me. I just, when I first heard it, that's what I thought. But I'm, I'm sure that's not the case. Just something weird that came into my mind. Perhaps they're trying to make it seem as if they're not so evil. I mean, Evil Lynn's name is Evil Lynn. If they tried to make her into a good guy of some description, that would be a bit strange. Or else Eternia dies. Well Another thing. Cringer having a conversation in that way as though he's being really intelligent and really describing things, that just isn't a bit annoying as well. Cringer was comic relief, you know, where he'd be all cowardly and scared when he's Cringer, because his name's Cringer. Hmm. Updating the role slightly, perhaps it's fine. And incidentally, this H on uh, He-Man's chest plate, uh, it looks okay. Reminds me kind of Hordak for some reason. Is this symbol taken from Hordak? Reminds me of Hordak. I don't know, I don't like it. I'd rather if they'd had the guts to stick with the Iron Cross, that Maltese Cross. And the fact they got rid of the Maltese Cross, or Iron Cross, whichever you want to call it, that also panders to the Woke Brigade, doesn't it? There's, it's a symbol they feel uncomfortable with. They're like, oh no, they can't use that symbol, because, because why? Who are they aiming this at? Who's going to be offended if they use that symbol? Because it's certainly not us, the fans. What are we ever fighting for? Being a hero swallows you whole. Well, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, some people have complained about the idea that it looks like Teela is trying to defeat He-Man and that he Teela might defeat He-Man here, but I think this is more like some sort of dream vision because He-Man obviously red eyes as though he's evil or something. Maybe he's been brainwashed at this point. I don't know, but yeah, if she actually were to defeat He-Man in any kind of battle of any type, that would that would really be a big woke signifier, wouldn't it? It would be pretty sickening. Well, that's a risk I'm- Oh, dear God. Do you see the physique on her? She's got the physique of a pretty well-built guy. Now, women can get this physique, but it requires them to do a lot of bodybuilding. And she doesn't look like a girl. There's a kind of girlish head on the top, but what else is girly about this? Does anyone see anything girly about this? And what about this other girl that she's talking to? What's happening there? Because that's not a female form either. They said this was anime inspired, and I'm not quite convinced I've ever actually watched any anime, because I've seen a lot of anime, and girls don't end up like this for some reason. Isn't that strange that they don't draw girls like young men? But they do in this, and it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign at all. I mean, where's the bulge on Teela's breastplate to allow for, you know, female stuff? These are not women. These are, let's face it, these are men that are trans. That's what these are. No one in their right mind would believe these are women if they came across them. Willing to take. Of course, compared with He-Man, obviously they look quite small and weak, as you'd expect. I mean, they're comparing themselves against He-Man, or even Man at Arms, or anyone like that. But they're still not female, are they? These are... It's like He-Man, man at arms and everyone else. They're all, like, you know, proper men. And these are young boys. They're building up to being men. But they're not women. Behold! The Lord of Destruction! <laughs> not gonna lie, Skeletor's still looking pretty damn good. He-Man and Skeletor on this still look pretty good, although I'm not a big fan of this point at the top of his hood. I prefer the original just showing more of the skull. It doesn't look right, and where's the high-pitched laugh? A slightly higher-pitched cackle, I prefer that as well. Yeah, this is what you're looking at here is Teela swinging Adam around while he's got a shield on his feet. Teela swinging Adam around, by one arm no less. Strange. You assume Teela's the same age she was in the original cartoon series, I mean maybe she's a bit older. The original series she was what, 21? And um, Adam was something like 19, so Teela is always a couple of years older than Adam. But is this physically possible? I know it's a cartoon and everything, but He-Man when he was swinging Teela around, believable. Teela? Swinging Adam around when Adam is obviously bigger than she is, at least he would be, 
because that's how it should be. But no, it gives every impression on here of Teela being bigger and more muscly than Adam. Adam, who, when he transforms to He-Man, should only basically change his clothes and become more powerful. His physical form doesn't change, but they've changed it on here so he looks weedy and thin, and he looks too young. It's like he's lost those extra two years and is like still 17 instead of 19, and Teal is obviously a grown man. Just bizarre. Teela looking a lot more like Teela here, actually looking female with all these big guys, but that's the only time that she looks vaguely female. And this is probably, because she seems to have her normal outfit on and everything, perhaps this is a sign of, or this is an early part of the episode when they're trying to transfer into the point where she decides, oh, I've had enough of magic, I'm going to run away, I don't know. Still know the tune? Some things you... Notice how Adam just looks scrawnier than her. I know she's close to the camera technically in this point, but she looks taller, she looks bigger, she looks more manly, it's just weird. Can never forget. Not gonna lie, really, really weird. And I did a bit more messing around. So it seemed as though Teela was kind of the star of that trailer. And then when we read the description, the synopsis of the series, it makes it clear that Teela is intended to be the star of the series. I mean, let's read through. A radical return to Eternia. Revelation is a direct sequel series to the classic era of Masters of the Universe, featuring fan favorite He-Man, Orko, Kringer, and Man at Arms. The story pits our heroic warriors and guardians of Castle Greyskull against Skeletor, Evil in Beastman, and the vile legions of Snake Mountain. But after a ferocious final battle, Forever Fractures Eternia, it's up to Teela to solve the mystery of the missing Sword of Power in a race against time to prevent the end of the universe. Her journey will uncover the secrets of Greyskull at last. This is the epic He-Man and Masters of the Universe saga fans have waited 35 years to see. What, we've been waiting 35 years to see a He-Man story starring Teela? I don't think they've quite got that right. I'm not sure they know what audience they're supposed to be pandering to. And then it gets even more confusing because if you look at the IMDb page and then you look at the actors, then you see that Teela is supposed to be in six episodes and Adam, or He-Man, is in eight. So... I'm not quite sure what's going on, because Teal is in less episodes, and He-Man's in more episodes, so that makes it seem as though He-Man is going to have a bigger role. Of course, you don't know how big his parts in these extra episodes are going to be. You don't know how big the parts, you don't know how big any of their parts are going to be. It's really hard to say exactly what's going on. One thing is for sure that Teela doesn't look like a girl. She looks freaky. I mean, look at this picture of Teela from the original series, and compare that with what we just saw. It's just wrong. Uh, pretend you didn't see that. Yeah, the picture of Teela compared with her modern interpretation. She looks very feminine and a beautiful girl in the original series. But in the new one, no, not so feminine. Not so feminine at all. It's quite disturbing. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. But I'm going to say, I'm not quite convinced that Teela is the main star of this series. Just because we know that she has six episodes, supposedly, and... He-Man is going to be in eight episodes. We have to hope he's in them properly. But that kind of gives you an idea that maybe it's going to be fine. Because there's a whole load of people here that only have six episodes. The guy playing Evil Lynn, Roboto, Stinkor, Hero, Skeletor, Sorceress, Merman, Trapjaw. All these guys only got six episodes, including Teela. And He-Man has eight episodes. I don't know. Maybe we're all getting a bit worked up over nothing. Perhaps it's all going to be fine. I guess we'll find out at the end of the month. Something to look forward to, sort of. This has been Movie Suck, wishing that they don't screw around with things we love. Bring things back the way they were. You don't have to woke eyes things. Things do not need to be twisted. Signing out. Leave a like, share, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side.